This is Nancy Hoover in the School of Graduate Studies at UMKC with our second video on formatting theses and dissertations. The formatting guideline is online at our website sgs.umkc.edu. On the current students link, click on Thesis Dissertation Guidelines. The UMKC format Guide to Formatting Theses and Dissertations is a, about a 50-page PDF that you should download. Our standard is the Turabian Manual of, for Writers of Research Papers, Theses, and Dissertations. You may use any bibliographic reference style you wish. You can use Turabian, you can use APA, or any other journal style. The important thing is that you be consistent. One of the most important technical requirements is that you know your software. Do you know how to insert section breaks, format page numbers, change your typeface, type style. It's important that you be proficient with your software or find some help from somebody who is very proficient. Margins should be an inch and a quarter on the left and an inch on the right side and bottom. The inch on the right side and bottom isn't terribly important, but you do want to keep that one and a quarter on the left in case you have any bound copies. The page numbering, there are no page numbers on the title page or the copyright page. All other pages will be numbered in the bottom center. The front matter will have lowercase Roman numerals beginning on the abstract with Roman numeral 3. Chapter 1 will begin Arabic numerals beginning on page 1. Other technical requirements. In the front matter, you will have a title page, a blank or a copyright page, an abstract. You should probably keep it under 350 words. You'll have an approval page, a table of contents, a list of tables if you have any tables, a list of illustrations if you have any figures, an acknowledgments page is optional. Dedication is optional. You need to choose a logical subheading scheme and be consistent. Some science disciplines will use a double numbering scheme, 1.1, 1.2, etc. Tables should be numbered and have titles above them. Figures should be numbered and have labels below them. Your back matter may consist of appendices, references, and you must have a vita written in paragraph form, written in third person. It's not a curriculum vita. These are some sample pages from a sample, sample dissertation. You'll have the title in all caps. It'll say a thesis or dissertation in, and then you'll state your discipline area or areas presented to the faculty of the University of Missouri, Kansas City in partial fulfillment of the requirements for the degree. We do want it spaced exactly as we have it in the, in the sample. Your degree will be Master of Arts, Doctor of Philosophy, Master of Science. By your name, you'll list your previous degrees, and then Kansas City, Missouri, and the year. The next page is a copyright notice page, copyright and the date, your name, all rights reserved. Next page will be the first numbered page. That'll be the first page of your abstract. You repeat your title. No, you don't type an abstract in. It'll be your title, your name, candidate for whatever degree, University of Missouri, Kansas City, and the date. The abstract does not have a set word limit, but we suggest that you keep it under 350 words. The next page is an approval page. We used to have committee members sign them. Since everything is out on the World Wide Web now, we have chosen not to put signatures out there. Instead, the final approval will be via their final evaluation sheets. You will have an approval page that lists your supervisory committee. You have a table of contents. You may list your subheading levels if you wish. If you list them for one chapter, please list them for all chapters. If you have any tables, you'll have a list of tables. Oh. 
each chapter will be headed chapter, chapter number, and the name of the chapter. Please keep in mind that the chapter title is not the first subheading level. I said you can choose any subheading levels you wish, just be consistent throughout your paper. You may format your tables however you wish, as long as you're consistent. One thing to remember is a table should not have outside vertical lines. It's a different style of table. If you need to turn a table landscape, remember you need to move your page number into the portrait position. The top of the table would be to the left, left side of the paper. The figures should all be titled beneath them. If you ch in your bibliographic references, make sure you know your reference style. If you use EndNote and import your references, make sure you check to make sure it's importing them correctly and that everything is consistent, that all your articles have title or, or author names, names of the articles, names of the journals. Make sure you have page numbers, volume numbers, issue numbers, DOI numbers whenever available. And remember, every type of our type of source has a different style. If you have a journal article with one author, that's one way. Two authors, another. Books are formatted a different way. Articles and chapters and edited books a different way still. If you have questions about the submission process or formatting, please contact me in the School of Graduate Studies. My email is hoovern at umkc.edu. I'm in room 346 of the Administrative Center at 5115 Oak Street. If you would like to hire somebody, a typist or editor to help you complete your document, please let me know. I have some names to give you. Thank you.